Sunday, everyone. super cute inside, you have charm, but you also have it a little bit modernized as well. I have officially left the team in Fort Myers. Local realtor here in Sarasota. Hey, I just wanted to send a quick... Today's Friday, I just woke up. It is almost seven o'clock, well, almost eight o'clock in the morning. I'm about to drop Gray off at school. I definitely wanted to kind of film like how I prep for an open house this weekend. I started prepping on Wednesday. Now today I have to focus on printing out my papers. I have to go grab the signs and just kind of show you guys behind the scenes of how I prep for an open house. I'm super excited to share the process with you guys. I do have a few things that I need to do today. I need to hit the office. I need to go to Ulta. I'm also doing brunch with another realtor. I'm going to the breakfast company here in Sarasota. And I'm super excited to meet her. I actually met her on TikTok and I was like, I really love your content and I want to hang out. So we are deciding on brunch. Thank you. Thank you. Gray Gray. What? Did you brush your teeth yet? No. You want to brush your teeth before we go to school? <clears throat> Careful, backing out right here. There's trash cans behind you, too. Ready to go to school? Yeah, but there's a car coming. Where? Let's put on some jams. What are we feeling? Mine. I know. What are we feeling? After, after your song, then mine. Because I want to. Oh, after mine, then you. The after mine, then you. Okay, what do you want? Uh, uh, give me your phone. Oh, I'm usually not allowed to sing anymore. Because now we have another singer in the family. I'm on my way to the office now. I just dropped Gray off at school. And yeah, I just need to prep for my open house. I need to grab papers, like I said, my signs. Today's just a really packed day. I love packed days because I feel busy. I'm super excited about this open house because it's in such a great area. I believe the house is listed for 550 and it's such a beautiful house. I cannot wait to show you guys. I'm gonna show you how I personally prep. Everybody does it differently. I'm so happy with the experience that I've had already, but um, advice is always welcome. Let me know how you guys are running your business. Um, Maybe we can like exchange notes together or like create a group together so that we all can grow together um, because that's what this business is and that's that's truly why like I uh, planned this lunch date too because connecting with others in this business is super important um, because you're gonna be working together really I just want a friendship out of it because um, I don't really know anybody here so if you're also in the Sarasota area let me know <laughs> today's gonna be a really good day and I'm really excited to take you guys along with me there is one thing that I wanted to share because I suck at sharing now and I feel like, did I share or did I not? But I have officially left the team in Fort Myers. I know you guys are probably like, why would you do that? You're working with your mom, you're working with your entire family, now you're on your own. Um, I'm not on my own. I actually joined a new team here in Sarasota. I'm with the Zargami group and I cannot tell you how amazing that this team has been. All right, papers are usually over here for open house. We've got four open houses going on this weekend. Here she is. I'll show you guys what's in here and how the team preps for it, but um, yeah, I'm gonna grab this, start prepping. I'm about to hit our meeting, but I just got a lead come through. This is a Google lead that came through. I see here that she was active on our website inquiring about some properties literally like 10 minutes ago, so I caught her at a good time. I'm going to give her a call and see if I can help her with her property search. Uh, I always, I still get super nervous calling leads, but here we go. Hey, this is Lynn. Hi there, I'm trying to get a hold of Mary. Caller ID said Lynn, but my lead says Mary, so sometimes it doesn't work out. I doubt that that was Mary, um, but I just left a voicemail anyways. Maybe it's Mary, maybe it's not. Hopefully she'll let me know. Usually I'll call and then I'll task them for either later today or tomorrow to call up and follow up again. So I'm gonna do a follow up and date that for, um, today's Friday, so I'm gonna date it for Monday. Slay. Ask me what my least favorite thing about real estate is. It's these damn signs. 
Every time. Every time. I just got out of Ulta and I only got two things. You guys are probably like, why do you need these for your open house? The girls that get it, get it, okay? I needed heat protectant and dry shampoo because I'm out of both and I can't do my hair this weekend without those two things. So I just needed to get those. I was just running out anyways. I got this brand. It's Clean Stylers Sheer Dry Shampoo. It's earth friendly in an aerosol can. The girl there said that this was really good. I was looking at like the drugstore options, but she like sold me on this. She goes, this is really great. Dry shampoo is really bad for you anyways. And this is like the best that you're probably gonna find. I don't know, I've never used it before. I trust her judgment and then I just needed um, heat protectant. I was using, what was I using? I was using Olaplex and then I used the pink Amica heat protectant and I loved both of them. I just kind of like to switch it up. I used this when I uh, was in high school. Is it good? Is it still good? I have no idea, it's the 44 Iron Guard. I feel like heat protectant is just heat protectant, so. All right, I am on my way to lunch. So we're going to the breakfast club. I've actually never eaten there. I haven't really gotten out much here. So yeah, I'm really excited to get out and have social interaction with another human being. That's not a client. Hey, <laughs> I was talking about you earlier in the video. Yes, aw. See? Okay, what'd you get? So good to meet you. I got the ultimate. There is so much food. I'm yes. not gonna be able to finish this. This is, um, Santa, Santa Fe, Fe. yeah, nice. Santa Fe. Lunchtime. So I'm gonna try this dry shampoo. Clean Stylers Sheer Dry Shampoo. The only reason I don't like buying like aerosol cans, I feel like, is it just me or I feel like you run out faster? I don't know, is it the opposite? I have no idea. I've been using Way Dry Shampoo, I think I told you guys that. I love Way. Way's like my favorite hair care brand. Um, I recently like started using all of their stuff this year and my hair's really loved way. I was using Olaplex. I don't think I'll ever go back to Olaplex um, just because I felt like it did more damage than good. I just really love way. Um, but she, man, she really sold me on this. Okay. But I like to put dry shampoo in my hair like after I wash it because I feel like it soaks up the oil that's coming, you know? Definitely not like the best smelling. I smelt better it's definitely got that like clean smell but I don't mind it Happy Sunday, everyone. Today I am standing in the open house. It is almost one o'clock. Should be hitting one here soon. I wanted to kind of share what is in my open house folder. In case you're curious on what kind of documents, contracts I bring to my open houses. Things that really help me, like stay organized um, and just get really educated about the property. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm for sure gonna show you guys this house because this house is so beautiful and it was staged so good. The first thing that I want to talk about is what everybody, you know, is using to sign in when they come into your open house. You really want to capture these leads information just to follow up with them. Don't spam them or anything like that, but uh, just get their information and kind of follow up and see, you know, did you like the house? Is there any other property searches that I could do for you? An example just now, I just had a couple walk in and I actually keep a sign in thing digitally. It just looks like this and it just has your first and last name, email, phone, uh, your timeline to purchase a home and if there working with an agent or not so super fast super simple if you don't have access to anything like this you can go paper which I just had to have my people that walked in do this because unfortunately I do not have the Wi-Fi set up I got her name her name is Marty so I'm gonna be following up with Marty probably later on today after I leave the open house video texts are also a really great way to engage with your buyers leads sellers or just anybody that you're wanting to work with. This is really just for the sellers. They just wanna know who walked through their house. So that's usually what I say, which is true. The agents wanna know, the sellers wanna know, and it's great for me to capture that information because it's a potential lead. Some other documents that I keep, obviously print out some MLS papers. This is really great to just hand out to your buyers. Um, hey, this is just extra information about the property. And the reason I don't give this to them as soon as they walk in is because I wanna be the one where they go to ask questions. I don't wanna give them this because this has everything about the property 
property and I want them to know that I'm educated about the property. Um, it's, it's just a better look in my eyes and you know, I have the opportunity to connect with that person. This is a seller's property disclosure. This is really important. This discloses any bad things about the property, any good things about the property. This is really great to have because sometimes you're going to get questions like, Hey, was there a roof leak? You can come back to the seller's disclosure and say, no, the sellers never were aware of any you know, roof leaks. Right here, I have information about the homeowners association. That's the number one question I get when I'm showing houses to everybody. That's the first question you should be asking is, what's the HOA? Because sometimes it can go up to thousands of dollars, to hundreds of dollars, to zero dollars. It really just depends on the property. All right, I just had my second couple walk in. I got them signed in. Um, today I'm having really great luck with having people sign in, which is score. Another thing that I like to do personally is if I'm like doing any video content, I like to, um, I guess I'll just do an example. I'm wanting to do a virtual open house here, which basically is just like a live video, whether on TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook. I believe I'm gonna do it on Facebook and see how that works. So I just wrote out like basic information. That way I'm not like searching on the MLS sheet for it. So if anybody asks me questions on that live, I have scripted it out and I'm ready to go. This is a property frequently asked questions list. So this basically hits insurance, utilities, service providers, and kind of an estimate on how much the sellers were paying a month because sometimes you get those questions like oh how much was their internet bill here internet here is forty dollars a month but also has the age of appliances the pool information so when the pool was built is it chlorine is it salt water this is like a seller questionnaire so when did the sellers buy this home why did they buy it what do they love about the community um, any you know updates that they did why are they selling the house so these sellers are selling the house because they got a job opportunity in another state yeah that's just you know if somebody asked you know why are the sellers leaving I know the answer the the last thing I want to share with you are my maps. So I just go, I type in the address on Google and Google will automatically pull up something like this. I just took a screenshot from my computer. This is basically helping me with my signs. If you're a real estate agent, you know that signs are the death of us. We hate signs. We hate signs so much. Do so you have to like go across intersections and highways and it's just, it's a lot sometimes so my lovely husband actually went out an hour before the open house and dropped off all the signs i do want to share one more thing that's really great to also have again i don't have wi-fi so i can't really show you but i do like to put up like recently sold properties in the area sometimes you'll even get questions like oh how come this house is priced fifty thousand more than the house across the street um so you just want to look at you know the specs of each house like this house has a pool that house might not have a pool before i show you the house i just kind of want to give you a little background about it it's a 3-2 it was built in 1994 um, and they completely renovated it it's so stunning tall ceilings a view of a pond it truly is the perfect property you're right downtown um, you're near UTC you're near the airport it's truly the best location and it's super cute inside you have charm but you also have it a little bit modernized as well
23. I've had four people walk in and I just had a really sweet guy come in and pitch this like new roof thing that they're doing. I'm about to do my live video on Facebook. I actually was going to do it while I was hosting this. I'm gonna stay 10 minutes before, or sorry, 10 minutes after, grab the sign out of the yard so that people don't walk in, just so that I'm not interrupted and I can answer questions. Um, about the property on live. I'm really nervous. I feel like I can't mess up because I can't edit this. Gerda Wolf or Gertie Wolf. But she did such a great job. If you guys like that boho style. Again, listed for $5.50 here in Sarasota. It is 3.06. I'm just packing up. Before I leave here, I want to make sure to get my video text filmed. Um, so I'm just gonna film a quick uh, little video that I can send to everybody that walked in today Like hey kind of what I said earlier. I hope you liked the house Please let me know if there's anything I can do I feel like this video text will go a further way than a text or an email or even a phone call Sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but it's great, you know just to try I'm definitely gonna do this out here because this is like the most mem memorable view I feel like we're here in Sarasota um, hey, I just wanted to send a super- It's always super weird and you guys are probably like, that's so weird. Um, it is, and it's very awkward to do, but a lot of people do it and a lot of people get a lot of success from it, so. Friend, your local realtor here in Sarasota. you, and I hope we can chat soon. Oh, I get so cringy, ew. I think I'm gonna do it one more time. Let's go do it one more time. Local realtor here in Sarasota. Hey, I just wanted to send a quick video text. Slay. We slayed that open house. Um, two, four, six, six people came through and I feel like it was a success. Usually when I do open houses, zero to like three people will show up. Um, but I feel like Austin really got it good with the signs because everybody walked in from them seeing the signs. So wherever he put them, golden. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'm looking forward to the next one.